we got her to rage you guys we got her to rage she is in a whole entire mood a whole entire mood so clearly she watched our videos over here hi foodie how the heck are you hope you're doing well hugs kisses <laughs> yeah right okay so she watched our video and she just has a lot of bs to say um, I'm not really going to watch over the comment section too much because she's going to be heavily monitoring it. So anyways, this is from two minutes ago and it reads LMA. Oh, 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 you people are so sad. It makes me laugh at this point. I know you're all hoping for a rage or a big juicy divorce, aren't ya? Well, losers, I have some very unfortunate news for you. LOL. Please leave that poor married Muslim woman alone. You really think that harassing her is going to affect me in any way? Let me tell you about this woman. She's flirting with Salah in the chat. He's there constantly. For the past two days, he's in there talking more than... If that supposedly... She's going to try and tell us her husband was there the whole time. If that was her husband, I would wonder what the F was going on because those two were chatting more than anything. Anything. And when I was in her live stream today, she was laughing. She was loving the attention everybody was getting. She was giggling every time Salah's name was mentioned. Giggling like a schoolgirl. I'm telling you. She was answering questions. She was loving the attention. Nobody was harassing her either. Um, we have a clip up on the channel. Go check out that video. Um, she was having a good time chatting with everybody. Nobody was harassing her. Everybody was polite, um, as were the people that were there for her. Everybody was polite in that chat. Okay, so she continues. It only shows how desperate and obsessed my haters are. I saw you all flock into her chat like cockroaches and vultures to harass this poor woman. There was none of that happening. Go check out that video. You think I don't know about her? You didn't know about her. I will include a screenshot at the end of this video where she says, Babe, some lady was coming in here speaking Arabic and we don't know what she was saying. You didn't know who she was. Salwa is someone from the internet, part of a channel growing support group. She literally mods everyone. Heck, she even modded Imperfect Hamster's miserable, lonely, unfulfilled ass. Look at the screenshot. She modded the other dude in there also. He supported men as well, and they in turn subbed to him. Nothing more than formal interaction, sickos. I saw every word he wrote. He doesn't hide things from me. Then why didn't you know who she was? Her husband was right there when Salah tried to help them with their channel. If she's a random internet lady, why does he need to help her with her channel? If she's truly just some random person on the internet... Why is he there every single live stream, for the whole live stream, chatting? And if he's trying to help her channel, why is he sending heart and kisses emojis? That doesn't make sense. She joked around and said yes when people were asking if she was his wife. Come on, foodie beauty. All right. She says this was also all public. So no, my husband doesn't chat with women in private, but this was a married woman from a support group he helped a couple of times while her husband was right there, lol. Also, the kisses emoji, I knew she was going to talk about that, was him copying and pasting a title from another channel. I think even maybe Saul was, as you can see, she uses hearts and lips emojis in all of her titles. You can imagine how that would look, foodie beauty, though, right? A man sending heart and kisses emojis to a woman that's not his wife or his girlfriend or his partner. It looks flirtatious. She says, go check. So that's the desperate tea. Please touch grass. It's honestly sad at this point. Foodie, I touch grass every day and I can actually touch grass. Can you? Let me know. Stay mad, losers, and keep waiting forever because Salah and I are together 24-7. So for loser dumbass reaction channels looking at the Milli Vanilli to say he's gone all hours of the night is lies. How the F do you know? So the community of shit is just making things up now? LMAO, pathetic. If you think I would let my husband leave in the night, you are on crack. I don't think you would let him leave. I think he just leaves. And I'm not, but sometimes I wonder if you are. Are you smoking a little something, something, foodie? She continues. Anyway, circle jerk over this Twitter freaks 
You are a sad bunch of humans. Really? Stay mad, babies. Kiss emoji. I know it burns your asses that I'm in a loving marriage and not a miserable and obsessed over someone's life like you are. But hey, I'll just pity you all at this point. Oh, and something wish version of Manili Vanilli is wrong about is that the woman lives in Kuwait. Many buildings look like that in the Middle East, uncultured morons. Okay, I'm done. All right, and then she shares some screenshots. Um, yeah, these are all, well, those screenshots you can see on Piggy's channel. Um, I think I have some up in the community post. They're everywhere. And in one of them, it's translated like, I just saw you in the kitchen. Something weird like that. Um, she wants us to not harass this person. Um, which nobody has, by the way. Everybody was nice to her. But she shares her channel and all her videos. There you go. My question is still, if he doesn't know this woman and it's a random person on the internet, why does he need to help her grow her channel? Oh, here we go. A comment about me. People Dodger said, just breezing today is even more desperate than she claims you are. I remember her desperately begging her baby daddy to claim her to spite GB. Um, no, my baby daddy came on my channel. That live stream is still up. It was a really good live stream. Um, we love each other. We will always have love for each other, but we kind of just started dating again and hanging out again because we enjoy each other's company. And what we realize is just because people have a physical connection and they have love for each other, it doesn't mean that you're meant to be and that you're in love with each other. There's a very big difference from being in love and just loving somebody, if that makes sense. And we're still on amazing terms. We never even claimed anything or rushed anything. It's all in that live stream. Um, he's an amazing person, an amazing father, and um, I wish him a lifetime of love and happiness, and I hope he finds the right person. Um, but do you see how these sick people lie? <laughs> Anyways, I really hope you guys go check out that live stream one day. It was really good. Um, so no, I didn't claim anybody to spite anybody or I didn't beg anybody to claim me um we dated we had fun it, it didn't go past that all right they continue here she is rooting for your marriage to fail I say f these haters you want to law keep on rocking it um after the crap she said about literal like literally everybody's children on here I don't really have the best things to say about foodie beauty and do i am i rooting for her marriage to fail no i'm rooting for her to have consequences and whatever that looks like um maria's world said it's okay you know we are living in evil time stay happily yourself oh i forgot to look at her reply didn't i oh yeah sorry after all that foodie beauty responded she's a pathetic loser who offered her daughter as a bonus to garlic bread you are sick and disgusting That's disgusting, Foodie Beauty. You know what? Am I rooting for her marriage to fail in this moment? Yes, I am after that. She doesn't know how to be an adult and um, take things. If she has an issue with me, she should learn to just keep... Insult me. Say what you have to say about me, but don't insult an innocent child. Um, I'm not a pathetic loser. I'm somebody who goes swimming and on scooter rides and I hike and I do so much with my daughter. I have an unconditional love, foodie, that you will never know what that's like. The only relationship and the only love you have in your life is your relationship with your next fast food meal. Um, I pity you. While I'm out living life, you're sitting on a dirty floor eating and raging and you're looking out a window not living life. You're wishing you were, but you can't break free from that addiction you have going on. Your husband, your fake husband, is embarrassing you even more. Do you know how pathetic you look? While you're sitting and eating and planning your next meal, He's talking to other women and hanging out in their chat nonstop because he can't stand you. I pity you. All right, so <laughs> she pisses me off. All right, so we read this one. It's okay. You know we are living in an evil time. I know we are because people like Foodie Beauty exist. I agree. We're living in a very evil time. Foodie replies, indeed, these people are sick and evil. As you just talked about a 10-year-old child, Foodie Beauty. 
Rebecca Campbell said, I just joined your memberships this evening. Happy to be an an official Beezer. Yay. Hope you are okay, sweetie. You should be ashamed of yourself, Rebecca. You support a woman who just the other day was calling a reactor's children prostitutes. And today she just said that I offer my daughter up to people. Um, I really think people need to be careful of who they support. And uh, yeah, on that note, I'm a little bit pissed off. How about you guys? Um, You know what? I need to realize that when she talks like that, it's the addict talking. It's the addiction talking. It's the hateful part. It's the sad part. It's the lonely part. It's the hurting part. Um, She wants to hurt me and bring me down to her level. And that will just never happen. Um, my 10 year old has far more class than foodie beauty will ever have. And, um, you know, foodie, you want to know why I am better than you? I changed my life around. And despite the horrible, horrible, horrible things you and your husband say about me, your fake husband joking about wanting to shoot me, um, you dragging my beautiful, beautiful, precious daughter, you know what I hope for you? I pray for a wake-up call. I pray for a wake-up call, and I pray that um, one day you know what it's like to have a life free from addiction and to have a life free of trying to make everybody hurt as much as you are. You need to change your life around. While you're sitting here saying some of the worst things, while you're sitting here doing that, and now raging away on your community post, you know what you should have been doing? You need to be on the phone with somebody asking for help, getting inpatient care, because you're not looking too good and you're not doing too good. And how long can really one person eat the amount you do and not have any consequences? Wake up. I know you hate me because I react to you, but I think you also hate me because I'm a truth teller and I will never I will never let you get away with the BS that you pull and the BS that you say and the BS that you do. I will always be here to shine a spotlight on it. All right, you guys, I hope you're having a great day, great evening, wherever you are. And let's talk about this in the comment section. Bye.